see one. I found it. Make sure it's on three. Find it right down low power. That's it. Yeah. Just putting the scope on low power in case we see one really close. Bloody swamp now. Yes, look at that wee beauty, oh man, so good, marrow is so tasty, pretty good eh? Mozzies? Yeah, in the tap. Oh, yep. Mosquitoes everywhere. Well, not heaps of them, but there will be soon. I just have to put this stuff on. Hope that it works good. through here last night we weren't here when I got here we was carrying on and yelping at the side creek there with the free wire bridge she couldn't cross and she was oh, oh. probably scared all of the deer in the valley I'd say they done heard old sniffer hound howling and buggered on often so cut the K walk back to the back to the camp back to the boat and then we'll skedaddle. Well, 
It's amazing how the eyes can play tricks on a fella in the early morning light. Several times I thought I saw a deer on the edge of the clearing here. No, and there's fresh shit here. I reckon I would have nailed one if we hadn't have been bloody carrying on and howling. Hefty pile of gut bags there. Good to see the machines been taking a few deer out before they 1080 them all. And they're due to drop 1080 in here any day now. Oh, another massive pile of gut bags. Got a bit of 50, 60 gut bags there. That's interesting. One's got a ring on it. One's got a ring on it. What on earth would those be from? Those two rings. It's so bizarre. How bizarre. Anyone have any idea? Would there be a couple of docking rings? On some deer? Right up the Wanganui River? Start of the day. What a night last night. Morning, lads. You're hiding from the sand flies. Hey, cup of coffee. I actually think, I think I might have um, COVID. Well, I might come or something. I'm going to go get tested out, I think. I've been sneezing a lot and had a snotty nose for the last three or four days and had like a tickle in the back of my throat. Either that or I've lost my mojo. Probably both. You get a stick and whack it. Back at home, back at the house, and shit spread everywhere. Small problem here. Yesterday, when we started the Tohatsu outboard, because of the previous starter called snap and retraction that happened, I didn't notice that the top of the flywheel was actually bent. Not the actual flywheel, but the, but the bolts onto it was bent. And what that had done was mount the inside of the previous casing which I trimmed back and then put back on and I just got sent a new casing from Graham from Outback Boats he sent me a new starter puller the whole caboodle put that on so first day yesterday snapped the cord so it took me a while to figure out that was why it's, that bit was bent so anyway I've flattened that bit back down and I've taken the return spring out to untangle the cord from inside of it but I can't get the bloody return spring back in now. So I'm just going to slap the old one back on until hopefully someone can let me know an easy way to get the return spring back in. I actually took the return spring out of the last one and put it back in and it took two hours of struggle and I've been working on this one for about half an hour. And I'll bugger it, there's got to be a technique to put these bloody things back in. So if any fathers know what the technique is, please let me know. Holy shit. Oh, just noticed the bolts coming loose. Lock tight those back on. Lucky I loaded. Lucky I noticed that now. I lost one there. Oh, we've even lost a nut off there. Oh, she's almost dark. Had dinner. It's delicious. Chops and greens. And I just gotta clean up this Chinese laundry. Everything's dry now. 
pack everything up and then tomorrow going trout fishing because you guys want to see trout fishing eh yeah thought so and hunting i'm going to shoot something this week by a crikey winning
about a kilometre away, I think. So I've just climbed up the hill here. That wind's kind of okay. Got about an hour and a half till sunset. sitting here for about 30 minutes and haven't heard him roar again. Pretty quiet and I just heard that one long bellow before.
on it right there. We'll put it in there, hold it in. What's playing, Jack? I don't know. You're the boss, not me. Plan was to get up way too early. Josh got up at five. Look at it though, perfect timing, eh? Yeah, it's so well. How do I fix my damn, uh, I don't know where my camera uh, keeps adjusting that. Yeah, quite far, bro. It's because it's my phone. Josh, can you just go a little bit straighter? What? Am I not going straight? No, I'm not. No, it's quite Right, let's clear the gear. <laughs> Classic. We thought it was an hour call and we're fucking around and fucking around. And uh, we get it to the boat and it, it, it lights up and it turns out it's a blue thing. Just the air. Don't bring it in, bro. Just kind of hold it there so we can clear this gear first. I'm just going to put us forward again, bro. How we? Shit. I thought it was a blue film. Yeah, no, well, we got it's just a giant albacore. Look how big it is. Oh, bloody hell. Bloody beautiful, though, eh? Hey? <laughs> Look at that. I think it's about tall. Watch that. Yeah, we're. Bloody hell, she's all go. We thought we had a blue film on, but it's just a giant albacore. It's the biggest albacore I've ever seen. We got line around the props and then another albacore's taking the hand line. Which shit everywhere. Like, you, yeah, you really don't really want that. Oh, have you got one on there too? Oh, no, yeah, it's just the other. That one's probably a blue. Oh, which one is it? Oh, what are we on? Yeah, that's the other end of that, I think. Is it? Or is that, have you taken? Nah. Can we come through this again? Just here? Jesus, that's ridiculously large alcohol, isn't it? What happened there, bro? Run us through that little uh, bit of action. Well, the boys just got a bite, so it was nice and early. Early bite for the fellas, and uh, it didn't really scream off straight away. So we weren't really sure, we thought it was a small LB. Pull it up to the boat pretty quickly, probably in a couple of minutes, and then the elders Jack said, it's a southern bluefin tuna. So we started to get more hyped up and went for another run. All the gear got tangled, so we had a bit of a mess here at the back, and then uh, it was actually just a big albacore. <laughs> but we shouldn't just say just what a beautiful eating fish. Fish on! Oh, is it another bluefin? Jack? Nah. Come on. Nah. No bluefin. Oh, Jack's got a rat. Hit a boy. Still no bluefin. Yeah, well. One of those poor bastards has been on for the last 20 minutes, I think. Where's the hole? Other chili bin. Rip them out, swap them over when you get a chance. Slowly, slowly but surely. Shane Warren coming in at nine. Oh, you all right there, Horn? Come on, Jack. Bloody hell. Jesus. Oh, it's another goodie. Good size, no. Eh? In the head, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Yeah, 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 he's dead, he's dead. We can't not catch a blue nose or something. So, yeah, we caught a New Zealand record albacore today. 22 kgs. Weighed in at 28.5. Pretty sure that's a New Zealand record. 28.5 kilos. 
So it's uh, absolute monster. I thought you said 22 before. Yeah, well, we'll re-edit that too. It's all happening over here. Action Jackson on the bat. Bloody, we just get the lure out, then the alcohol hits it, and then we wind another one in, we get it out, and he bloody hits it. Where are these bluefin? Bloody hell. What do they look like? Look at that blue with a fin. Got blue and then they got fin, eh? Yeah. yeah. Tomato juice. Dong him again. Where's the donger? Oh, jeez. Do you have any uh, spare buttons that you can sew to the shirt? So, whoop! Whoa! <laughs> hey! 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 New shirt, Helen Stein's thanks, mate. Did you think guy at the boat or what's going on? What do you mean? Oh, we've hooked on something, so just another Helby. Actually, there's a bit of weight coming on now. No, it's still... dragging it in. No, I think it's bell hooked. What? <laughs> I think it's bell hooked. There's a bit of weight coming on. We're getting it close to the boat. Oh, turn right a little bit, Jack. Come to find it. Still no bluefin. Yeah. We're way down off Cascade Point now. So we've come a fair way south. We keep seeing these big water spouts forming in the clouds, but they're not quite touching down yet. Bloody hell, he's on a merry chase, isn't he? He's zigzagging here and zigzagging bloody there. And we're back under that. If you walk back again, then no. Wait to it. Giant albacore or a very small bluefin. Right, keep going. Bring them all the way to the leader. And... Yeah, that's good. Yeah, go. All right. Holy shit! It's a bluefin. It's a bluefin. It's a bluefin. Right, go. All right. Hey. hey. Boys took the first. Collapse it. Sick. There you go. Oh, well done. Me. Well, that was the easiest bluefin ever caught. It's a bluefin. Ah, oh, it's an albacore. It's a bluefin. It is a bluefin. Ah, oh, it's an albacore. And caught. I don't know. I think it's a bluefin, boys. It's putting up a bit of a fight. We're like, just wind it in already. You prick. Bloody hell. Well, let's catch another one. Yeah, let's catch a few more, you know. Are you going to wind it in, Josh? Quiet. Here you go, yeah. Here you go. Just slow down, Ed. Just about to chop up the blue fin and then bang, got hit again. Get that other a long one in, I reckon. This one feels alright. Bigger. Clear the gear. Oh, come on, bluefin tuna number two. Oh, will it be another albacore? The old hundred dollar Chinese rods handling the jandal so far. What else that? Just straight up in the. Right in it, just right in this bloody eye. Eyeball. Somewhere up there, somewhere under, under the gills. Give us a little debrief here, horse. What do you think? What's going on? Sounded better. Yeah, it went off with a hiss and a roar when he hit it, eh? Juvenile marlin. Or a giant squid. The one that you. The one that, 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 that got away. The one that got away. The one that got away. Nah, he's not big enough to grab the sawn off shotgun. Poke a hole in his head. We're going to do this the old fashioned way. Do you want to grab that dredge in too, bro? Yes. 
Oh, just here, Josh. Pick up the main hook. Nah, now they're out of Oh, well. Oh, well. them on the head. Gotta drop a face in the back there. She's all go. Oh, well. All right. We're back in the game. All right. What What's going bloody weird? Albie's way bigger. That's huge, man. Unbelievable. Bloody albacore. We've reached our limit. No more chopping heads off. Albie. Big Albie. Heavier than 10, I'd say it'd be almost 20 kg. <laughs> oh. oh. Alright, another blue fin, then we'll go get some crayfish, eh? Might be a bit rough on the shore there. We'll go have a look, see. That's good, yep. And then just hook your finger through and hook that little bit of piece through down. Very beautiful. Here we crack. Where's that mustard? Well, it turns out that old mate's left his bag in the boat and he's locked his keys in his vehicle so he can't get in there. So I think we're just going to chuck a fish in his bag, leave it outside for him, chuck some ice in there and boost home. Yeah, we're just going to fill old mate Swan dry up with tuna and then chuck it in his bag and bugger off because he's still about an hour away. Got to go clean the boat. Oh, we got to keep it in the uh, shade, you know? There's that massive one. So just stick some bluefin in there, or are we actually going to keep that? We'll just bloody drop it off and post it down, isn't it? Oh, no, we'll, 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 we'll hunk a block, block of bluefin off on. Why not? Want some bluefin for tea, Paddy? Aye. Want some bluefin for tea? just a trail of destruction and washing and cleaning and scrubbing and bagging and packing and cutting and whew, more scrubbing <laughs> almost done it's almost lunchtime far out behind the scenes oh mate didn't bring his boots there's miles of gorse oh is that why because you're blistered still uh, he's all blistered up we got miles of rocks and gorse to walk. Got back to the truck last night, shot a deer on the way down the river out of the jet boat, didn't we? Yeah, couldn't resist, it was right next to us, didn't have anywhere to go. Smoked it, hanging up in the shed. Anyway, got back to the truck and someone has stolen my battery and battery box and DC DC charger out of the back. So they've opened the windows by forcing them open, they stole it, and then they forced the windows closed again. They didn't take anything else. They didn't take my power tools. There was 20 litre full of gas in there. There was a swag. There was a whole bunch of stuff, jet boil, some other bits and pieces. They only took the deep cell battery and then quickly locked it back up. And I only could tell because I went and went to unlock it. The key 
wouldn't fit and it was real stiff and I went, what the heck? And I was, it looks like someone's forced this. Who was I? Yes, looks like someone's forced this open. And then I took a photo of the boot print. Very, very defined boot print. So I think I know who it was because in order for them to steal it and lock the truck back up, they must have been local and they must have lived nearby. So I'm going to go do a wee bit of detective work today and I don't know if I'll be able to do anything but steal the battery back if they've got the same boots. But I've just got to go around there and look at their boots because very, very distinctive boots. Very distinctive. Anyway, it's a bit shit that that kind of stuff goes on. At least they didn't steal everything and their need was probably greater than mine. But still, it's 1500 bucks worth of stuff they just stole. Blum and thieving. Thieves. Anywho, no time to waste. Old Sniffer Hound is on the trail. So anyway, the boys are just talking about I don't know how we I don't know how I don't know how we got onto that subject. Who who would talk about such a thing? Um anyway, I and I the yeah there was Prostrate uh, self checking for oh, I was my idea. I said, Yeah, no, I self check for prostrate. Uh, what do you call it? Pro enlarged prostrate. Prostate. Prostate. <laughs> I can't even say it right. Prostate. Prostrate. Prostate. Prostate. Enlarged prostate. Apparently, if it's bigger than a date, then you're in trouble. But I already. It's called a date as well. <laughs> a date, yeah. You put a you finger up your date, and if the date's bigger than a date, <laughs> then you're in trouble. But I haven't actually closed my eyes and put my finger on a date, and then. But tell us how you yeah. the method to checking. Your oh yeah, I was telling the boys. They thought I was just joking, but straight up, you, you get in warm bath. you get in the bath, and then you <laughs> get some some of that nice palm olive shea butter body wash. You know the stuff that you put in your wetsuit before you go diving. Don't use detergent. Uh, sweet chilli sauce doesn't work. You've got to use the nice palm olive stuff. Not the mint tea tree? Nah, don't use the mint tea tree because that'll burn your date. No one likes a burning date. Well, I don't know about it. Yeah, some people do. I use head and shoulders. <laughs> head and shoulders. So anyway, oh, yeah. you get the... Um... we got fish jumping. Oh, we got fish jumping. Oh, I have to... Oh. Oh, yeah. What the hell? Dolphins. Bluefin tuna. Tuna jumping. Are they bluefin uh, tuna jumping? Bluefin tuna jumping. Yeah, that's the one. Are they or are they dolphins? No, dolphins. Are you yeah, sure about dolphins, that yeah. though? They don't look like dolphins. Yeah, they look like dolphins. Anyway, a bloody dolphins interrupting our talk about self-regulating. But so I'm going to go get a checkup and just see if which, the doctor um, can tell me that I'm use? bang on the money or not. Which finger do you use? Does yours look like bloody? Um, I use this Helen, finger. Helen, Helen's what it's too hard to put that one up on the angle. No, nah, you just put it around like that and then you feel it. Hey! 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 Hey!